you to attract the love of your life. Alright, so today I would like to talk about why do you really want love. You know, I talk to a lot of women and they all tell me the same thing. They want love, right? But why? Right? Have you ever asked yourself this question, why do you want love, you know? Um, you, have, you may have heard of the saying, you know, love heals, love makes the world go around, and, um, you know, uh, love is a golden ticket to life. But why do you really want love? Why do you really need love, right? If you go back to, like, the tribal, tribal times, you know, um, people live in herds. They live in a community, right? And if one person is driven out, you know, the, the chances of them or her surviving or him surviving, it's relatively low, you know, because we are built to live in communities, right? So we cannot be an island of our, on our own. And we really need people to survive, right? And we need relationships. But that doesn't explain why we need and want love, okay? Now, I want to bring you back to a time when you were a baby, or if you cannot imagine, just... Look at a baby and just imagine a baby. What do you feel? You know, you feel there's so much love, there's so much hope, there's so much faith, you know. And as the baby grows up, you know, when, when he or she is a toddler, she has so much confidence, right? I mean, try negotiating with a toddler. You know what I mean. You can never win, right? So there's so much confidence. He or she gets what, what he or she wants, you know. And when you look at the baby, you just feel so nice. You feel so pure. Right? You don't look at the baby and judge the baby. You know what? This baby is going to grow up, you know, being a prostitute. Or this baby is going to grow up being, you know, good for nothing. Right? Or you're not going to, like, say, of course you have hopes for this baby. You know, this baby will grow up being the best person and stuff like this. Right? But what really happened as we grow up, you know, people around us start tell, started to tell us, you know, you're good for nothing. You're stupid. Um, you cannot make great things in life. You know, you just simply cannot make it, right? Or people um, around us has shown us that in order for us to get something, we must, you know, so-called reward. We get our reward. We have to uh, be a certain, we have to achieve certain results, right? If you get only 100% and then you get to go on that trip, you know, I'll love you so much if you do this for me, right? So those are conditioned love. That's not unconditional love, right? If you come from that space or that place of being conditioned, right, that conditional love space, then it's not really true love, right? So how does that translate into your love life, right? So I want you to really think about why do you really want love? Do you want love or do you need love, right? When you are in a place of needy, when you need love, you, you know, you just vibrate or give out um, that kind of a uh, very needy and desperate energy and what you attract back will be the same kind of men that will prove to you that um, you know that you are desperate and needy and therefore you get hurt right so this week I would like you to really think about why do you really want love right is it because of survival is it because you want a man to make you happy or keep you happy or because you know your life is is so bad and you just want something you just want somebody to rescue you from your situation right so why do you want love so this is where your magic is and where your answers are right this question why do you really want love all right so if you have any questions do leave me a comment or send me an email at purposely in love uh, elise at purposely love.com and also, if you haven't already downloaded or um, gotten your hands on my free Love Attraction Toolkit, uh, How to Attract a Man Without Looking Desperate, go ahead and download it. Just fill in your information on the opt-in page right here on this website and you'll get your first video immediately. Alright, so see you next week and take care. Bye.